Hello, Leon Bell Jr. here, and I pray you are doing well. We are on day number 12 of our new beginning in this month of August as we kind of reset, refresh, and realign and get back on task for what the plan of God is for our life. Today, we're going to be talking about relationships. Relationships are so very important when fulfilling destiny and purpose. Why do you ask? Because even in the body of Christ, God does not give all the gifts to one person. He spreads them out to prove that we need each other to be successful in ministry. We need each other to really fully function as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ that he intended for us to function. He gives, he divides the gifts as he desires to do. And in talking about that, you need to realize as well that you need solid relationships with people who, for one, have been where you are going and who are going where you're headed. And then you also need people in your inner circle that you can confide in. You need people around you who can carry the weight of your vision. That means I can share with you my vision, I can share with you and I can confide in you and seek you for counsel and you are able to handle what I'm telling you. I'm able to share that with you and you are able to pray with me and encourage me along the way. You also need people around you who can handle the reach of your influence. I often say that each and every one of us has an area of influence. I don't care what age you are. I don't care where you serve, where you work. You have a sphere of influence. And you need people around you who are not intimidated by your reach and your influence. Because you may be able to reach people based on who you're called to that they may not ever reach. But it's okay because that's who you're called to. And lastly, you need people around you who are secure in their calling, in their identity, and they are not jealous or intimidated by who you are and where you're going. That's right. Everyone that's with you is not for you. And everyone that's smiling in your face is not happy for you. And you need people around you who are really secure and settled in who they are and be okay with that. And, and be absolutely okay with that. And what I've learned, I've shared this with someone earlier today, what I've learned is that each time the Lord has elevated me and moved me and transitioned me in my walk with Him, He's given me new people in my circle who can handle where I'm going. When I was single and I just really committed myself back to seek the Lord and really trust God in 2009 and I gave my life back to Christ for real, wholeheartedly, the Lord literally began to change my circle of friends with people who understood where I was going and could encourage me in my walk. When I was called to the ministry and I began preaching, the Lord began to change my circle of friends and he began to put me in the midst of people who were called to the ministry around the same time I was. As a matter of fact, one of the guys who was in my wedding, we began preaching two weeks apart. He started preaching one Sunday and I was preaching a couple weeks after him. Then I got married. And the Lord began to change my circle once again and began to put people in my life who were married and happily married. And one looking at my wife, their wives weren't looking at me. He began to change my circle yet once again. And even when I became pastor, and I began pastoring, he yet again began to change my circle. And as I look back over my life, and as the Lord begins to move in my life, I lost friends along the way. There are people who are with me in one season of my life that could not go with me into another season. Why? Because they could not handle the weight of my vision. They were intimidated by the reach of my influence and they were not secure in who they were. And they just couldn't hang in. As you begin to develop and pour into new relationships, you have to also be ready to say goodbye to some old ones because people who are good in one season of your life may try to sabotage another season of your life all because they can't handle the weight of your vision. They can't handle the reach of your influence and they're ultimately insecure in who they are and they're jealous and intimidated. 
Jesus had with him, Peter, James, and John. That's it. That was his inner circle. Everyone can be in your inner circle. Your inner circle should be people who can pray for you in your low season, that can encourage you in discouragement, and can cheer you along at moments of victory. And if you don't have those people in your life, you need to re-examine your inner circle. Relationships are important. Check your circle and watch God. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow.